what's up everybody welcome back to my channel love charms world i just want to say thank you guys so much for your support thank you for liking thank you for commenting thank you for sending me messages um thank you for everything but by the title you already know i'm gonna tell you how to become a flight attendant if you want to go into that field but i must say if you're new to this channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions in the future and I will definitely answer them. Let's get right into the video, guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna break it down a little bit different from most YouTubers on how to become a flight attendant. Okay, I have like a little bit of notes here and I'm, I might go off topic. <laughs> so, how to become a flight attendant. So. Um, first things first, you want to make sure that you research about this company. Make sure that um, this is something that you want because there's a lot of people that just wanted to be a flight attendant because they just want the, the free tickets to just travel across. But you guys have to keep in mind that there are people that are really dreaming about this job and would really like to make this as a career and you you're just like messing it up for them so <laughs> make sure you research about the company make sure you look at the pay wise look at how many hours they give you you have to remember that um, flat attendant job is not a nine-to-five job so the hours are a little bit different but um, the pay wise is is a little bit different I there's like more to the pay wise than you would think so definitely want to research about the company. And another thing, um, as I said before, make sure that this is something that you really want, okay? Another thing, um, when applying, make sure if it's, uh, a, um, we have regional um, carriers and we have um, international carriers. So some of them do both. Some companies do both, but some are just regional where they just um, fly domestic. But like my company, we fly domestic and Canada, so we do need a passport. You have to make sure that um, when applying to these airlines, you have to look at the, the qualification and see if, um, if it does need a passport. If it does, make sure your passport is up to date. If you're married, make sure you have your married name and everything. You do want to make sure it's up to date. As I said, make sure you research about the company and see what company best suits you. Pay-wise, um, hours, um, like destinations, like stuff like that. Like, you know? Some of these um, countries, they do crack down on certain things like, your record has to be cleaned. Like for example, Canada, you can't have a DUI and entering in their country. They are very strict about that. So you wanna make, they do also have that on the, the website, like the airlines, they do have that on web, their website saying, if you have such and such, don't do this, you know? So make sure to keep that in mind, okay? When I wanted to be a flight attendant, I will come on YouTube and watch all the YouTube videos to see if that's if this is the direction that um, I really wanted to go into because this is a dream of mine and this company I'm just starting starting out to see if this is something that I really want to do and this is something that I really enjoy so I do want to further and going to other major carriers so um, another thing that, I, that helped me is I would go on YouTube watch videos and Glassdoor Glassdoor and YouTube should be your best friends, okay? Glassdoor and YouTube, they give me so much information. So much information that I need to know. Like if you need to know something about a company, just go on Glassdoor, type in such and such and such, and then everything will pop up. It will tell you how much they pay, what's the hours like, and everything. Another thing, guys, make sure that your resume is up to date, okay? Um, and I do do a cover letter on my applications to make me stand out from everybody else because most people don't do it's not required but I just do it because I want to stand out like when I went on my um, 
on my face-to-face -face interview, that was one thing that I did to stand out from everyone else. And make sure that you look at the age requirement, the height, because remember, when you go on these interviews, if you're a little bit shorter, depends on the carry, you have to do a reach test. And if you can't reach, you might be disqualified. And they do do jump seat tests, like you sit in a jump seat to see if you could fit in that jump seat. As I said, it depends on the airline and what they require. So I do say go on these websites that I've told you and really research about these companies. I cannot stop saying that because it gives you all the information that you needed right there. It's hiring season and I'm excited because a lot of airlines are hiring right now, like a lot. And you know, classes will, they will have their classes in 2018 because most of them probably already went through classes already. So I will definitely link the link below for you to click and see all the airlines that are hiring right now. And I want you guys to win and get your dream job because this was my dream job and I just want you guys to win, okay? Another thing you need to know while being a flight attendant, when you graduate, some companies you are on reserve for the month and some you're not. Like for one company that I know, you're on reserve for the whole month. This month you're on reserve, meaning you would like maybe sit home reserve, like you stay home and they call you. They might give you a three hour ahead. They call you before the flight so you could get to the airport or two hours, depending on the company. Sometimes you could be on reserve this month and then next month you have a, a legit schedule. Some company you do graduate with a line, but you have six reserve days. So you might be able to drop those reserve days depending on how um, flexible that company is with their schedule. You might be able to drop those reserve days and pick up trips so that you don't sit at home like wondering like, oh, what am I gonna do? Is cruise schedule gonna call? And all that. So you wanna keep that in mind. You might be on reserve. Um, but you do, you are guaranteed a certain amount of hours a month if they call you or not when you're on reserve. Make sure you go on Glassdoor. Indeed also has um, questions and answers on their website. Um, YouTube is a big factor also. And also Facebook. They, there are the, like research the company that you wanna work for. Say for instance, you wanna work for Spirit, they do have like a Facebook page where you could find um, recruiters on there like answering questions or you do have flight attendants that currently work for that company to answer those questions for you. Like, trust me, like you have so many resources out there, it's unbelievable. When you're applying, they do, some companies do ask you for like your 10 year, background check like if you like didn't work just put like you were going to school or something what like what you were doing during those time period you know and when you go on do and do these video interviews you want to make sure I'm not even dressed I wish I had dressed up to show you guys like what I did so what I did on my face-to-face -face interview because I didn't do a video interview for my um, airline what I did is I kind of just like them. Just mimic them a little bit. I wore my nice little red scarf. Well, I didn't I didn't have a scarf. So, you might laugh or you might say, "Oh, really?" But I bought like a head tie and I fold it really nicely and neat and then I tied it really nice and then I had a nice white blouse, my black blazer, my skirt. And then I wore um, pantyhose. Like, and when you go on the interviews or when you're doing an interview, you wanna make sure um, you sit up and you smile and you answer those questions. Another way to get over your fears for answering those questions online is um, go on YouTube and Glassdoor, as I said, and research these questions and then what I do, I have a book at home. 
that I wrote down all the questions, right? And then I answered, I answered them and then I would like practice with myself, like record myself answering the questions. And then I look at myself to see if I did good and then I will correct my mistakes. That's another way to help you through the interview process. Hey guys, good morning. So yesterday I forgot to close out and some of my videos got deleted. So if my video seems all over the place, I apologize. Some of them got deleted. But guys, it's hiring season and you wanna snag those jobs. And I stated some ways. And remember, I'm gonna list in the link below of the com the website that shows you all the airlines that's hiring they update it um regularly which is good it's false it's gonna be they're hiring for fall season which is good so you if you want to be a flight attendant let's get this guys but thank you guys so much for watching don't hesitate to ask me any question don't forget to like guys comment and subscribe guys subscribe if you're new to my channel and you want to see more subscribe subscribe okay thank you guys and don't forget go after your dreams don't let anyone stop you okay keep the smile on your face and remember have faith have a nice day bye thanks for watching